Hi guys, thanks for joining me again. Um, <clears throat> right now, basically, I just want to cover the Photoshop interface, um, which is basically just the workspace here. Um, for some of you, this is going to look very unfamiliar, a very <laughs> new territory for you. Um, and I just want to kind of walk through what each of these tools and panels are. Um, and as we progress into the next tutorials, you'll get a much better feel for how the program works. Um, so this is basically what the workspace looks like. Um, up at the top, you're going to see the little blue PS, which is the Photoshop logo. Um, whenever you see this on your desktop, that is the icon that you're gonna click to open Photoshop. Um, what you have at the top here um, are different um, items you can go into through the menu um, file, which is going to be to open a new document, um, to create a new document. This is where you're going to save your document. There's a whole nother um, video that I will link here. Um, at the top you'll see where you can click on it to show you how to save your document and the different file types um, that you can save it as. Um, how to place a photo. Um, or a logo, um, different things like that. And again, um, I'll include the links to these videos so you can see how to do those. Um, and a few other things such as um, when you get further into editing your photos, especially if you are a professional photographer, you're gonna wanna learn how to batch edit photos. Um, and again, that's a whole nother, whole nother video that we'll get into. Um, but that will save you tons of time. Um, so moving on, um, edit um, from here. This is where you can cut, paste, copy, different things like that. Um, there are just so many different tools within Photoshop to use. Um, I'm not gonna go through every one. Um, the videos that I'll create throughout this course are going to show you each tool in depth. Some of the videos will combine multiple tools, um, but basically I'll cover the ones that I essentially, um, my, myself and my photographers use for editing photos. Um, the layer panel here, um, if you wanna add a new layer, create a layer mask, these are also things that you can do over here. This is the layers panel. Um, there's a separate video that I'm making for Working with layers, um, type, if you want to add text, um, select, filter. This is where um, the filter gallery is. This is where you can liquefy, which is moving, moving objects or moving parts of your photo without affecting everything. Um, blur, you can add or remove noise. You can sharpen your picture. There's a, um, a, whole filter gallery up here with different types of filters. If you want to change your picture to make it look like it's a watercolor painting, um, if you want to make it look like it's a coloring book page, all kinds of stuff you can do there. Um, 3D view, uh, window. So here's one that I use quite a bit because sometimes when I open Photoshop, my actions um, my actions panel over here is gone, or maybe I'm if I'm typing something, if I'm making a poster. Um, and yes, I know ideally I should be using Illustrator to create a poster, but I am so familiar with Photoshop that it's quicker for me to actually use Photoshop to do that. Um, but if I was typing on here, um, and my my character panel that's on the right here, if that was gone, this is where you can click those and you can see how you can add them or remove them. So if I closed this and I opened Photoshop and I was like, oh no, it's gone, where'd it go? If you go up to window um, and click back on character, oops, just kidding, um, back on paragraph, you can see it pops back up there. Um, okay, so that brings me to these here. So these, you can kind of customize if you want. I use actions on a lot of our photos. So um, I have the actions one here. Again, a whole nother tutorial um, on how to use actions. Um, the character and paragraph tool uh, just for 
a panel, sorry, um, for using um, those when I'm typing on a picture. Um, back over here to the left side, these are all of the tools that you will use when you're editing your photo. Some of them you will use for every single picture. Other ones you may never use. Um, I will say that you need to keep in mind when you're looking through these, especially at the beginning, if you are trying to find a certain tool and you can't find it, um, it may be hidden. So a lot of these, so for instance, the marquee tool up here, um, the second one down, they have other tools hidden within them. So the one that you used last is gonna be the one that is shown by default when you open Photoshop the next time. So right now the rectangular marquee tool is selected. If I were to right click with my mouse on here, you can see there are other ones, other options to use. Um, we've got the move tool um, here, lasso tool, magnetic lasso, different ones um, to use. The quick selection and magic wand tool, I use those a lot, especially for composites. Um, in a later tutorial, I'll show you how to use those and how to create composites. The crop tool, um, the great thing about this is you can crop your photo to specific sizes, um, make those compatible for printing. Eyedropper tool, so if I wanted to select a specific color, so like for instance on Olivia's skin, if I click on it so you can see what color it is, if I wanted to select the feathers here, you can see it's changing and down here um, on my color palette it's showing which one I've selected and it matches that exact color. Spot heel brush, this is if there's a spot on a person and you want to remove it. So if I wanted to remove this little tiny black dot right here, as simple as clicking on it and now it's gone. And I'll get into that further in another tutorial. The brush tool, which you'll use a lot. Right now I have it set um, for my logo, but you'll see there are other brushes here to use and you can size them. So you have smaller, larger, like this, different things like that. Um, we have the clone stamp. Um, so if you wanna clone an area, um, the history brush, if you get into using that, eraser. Um, and remember, there are other tools within here. So for instance, this one is the, the um, gradient. So that's to like drag in from the side or in the middle if you wanna put a certain burst of color <clears throat> or if you wanna drag in a gradient from the side. Um, but the paint bucket tool is also there. So if you're working with solid areas of color and you wanna color in an area, um, the blur, sharpen, smudge, the dodge and burn, that's a whole Another set, if you're getting into portrait retouching, you'll definitely want to learn how to use the dodge and burn. Um, we have the pen tool, different tools within here, the text, um, the path, uh, which for what we're doing, rarely will you use those. Um, this is where you can add shapes. Again, that's more going to come in handy when you are, um, if you're creating something as a brochure, a poster, if you want to make your logo or a business card, um, you most likely will end up using those at some point. Um, hand tool, the zoom tool, which you, um, I'll start getting, making you familiar with some of the shortcuts. So to bring up the zoom tool, so for instance, if I have the marquee tool selected and I needed to zoom in on this picture, I can actually hold the Z on my keyboard down. Um, if I hold that down and click on my mouse, you can see you can zoom in this is, yes, a poor quality photo because I saved it from Facebook, so ignore that. Um, and if you hold the Z and the Alt key down um, and click, you can zoom back out. Um, just little shortcuts like that we'll cover later. Um, and then we have the palette swatches, or the uh, color swatches down here that you can hit the X and toggle back and forth, or you can click here. So again, all of these things um, are all tools within Photoshop that are available to you to use. Um, you will utilize different ones for different things that you are doing. You check back and um, don't forget to look at the links below if you're interested in um, watching any of the videos on any of the other topics I Thanks covered. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.